the selfie. Heart it or hate it, Instagram and Snapchat are working to ensure they're here to stay. In fact, social media sites are constantly finding new ways for your selfie to evolve. Snapchat introduced something it calls lenses. It uses augmented reality over your face. Instagram quickly added its own version. New face filters on Instagram today. This is my favorite one so far. Nice job, team. These filters are, of course, a fun way to change your species. Age or gender, how you doing? Or give yourself a complete makeover. But when you take a closer look, you may notice some of these filters actually change your features. Bigger eyes, longer eyelashes, higher cheekbones, smoother, poreless, sometimes even fairer skin. And then there are photo editing apps like Facetune, which allow you to toy with your image in real time. Whiten your teeth, thin your nose, brighten your eyes, and plump your lips. It's like an enhancement. Like it, you just look like a more put together, cleaner or less sweaty or, you know, longer eyelash version of yourself. So that like flawless, kind of superficial look is what all these celebrities are, like you were mentioning, the Kardashians or Jenners will look like with their full faces of makeup. I think it really becomes attractive to be able to utilize um, filters to look that way in an instant. But digital tweaks which obscure your flaws conform to an unrealistic and often unattainable standard of beauty and give some the impression that they have the capacity to look, quote, perfect. That can take a toll on a person's self-esteem and in some cases are causing a dependence. If it's a selfie, I will do it with a filter. It's not about like adding any dog ears or like hearts to it. I think it's more just taking away all like skin coloration differences or taking away your pimples or making your eyes, I guess, more pop or like whatever other features that you wanna like have pop. I think it's more that for me just to make it look, I guess, more pretty. Natasha is 14 years old and says she suffers from a mild form of selfie dysmorphia, a body image disorder defined as a need to heavily edit one's own digital image, and an intense dissatisfaction with one's own appearance after using digital filters. And in severe cases, it can lead to drastic actions. But one of the strangest I had was a patient really wanted bigger eyes um, like the actual filter had given. Um, it wasn't possible to give her bigger eyes. And I tried to explain many times why surgically and non-surgically this could not happen. That's the cosmetic surgeon who coined the term selfie dysmorphia after noticing an alarming trend among his younger patients. It's usually before way back, patients would bring in pictures of celebrities, so it may be Angelina Jolie's jawline or someone else's nose, and it helped them give them a way of describing what they needed to the physician, which was okay. What then I started noticing were people were using altered and filtered versions of themselves. They wanted to look exactly like that image. A phenomenon that wasn't exclusive to his practice in the UK. Well, if you wish you looked more like your doctored selfies, you're not alone. Snapchat dysmorphia with young patients wanting surgery so they can look more like they do in filtered selfies. In 2017, 55% of surgeons reported seeing patients who request surgery to improve their appearance in selfies, up from 42% in 2015. Selfie dysmorphia is real. I have actually had clients come in with their Snapchat filters um, and usually I'll make a joke about how you know I can't put the whole picture together because I don't have the bunny ears in my cabinet. Um, <laughs> a lot of people don't like that. Megan Kozak calls herself a face architect. She believes celebrities like the Kardashians and the Jenners still dictate beauty trends and technology is simply making people more aware of what's possible. We can all thank uh, Kylie Jenner for the big, massive boom in the industry. So in 2014, when she came out with her lip injection, everybody wanted lip injection. It was lips after lips after lips. In 2018, a study by the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery revealed a 24% increase in cosmetic surgery or injectables in patients under the age of 30 since 2013. Unlike prior generations who kept quiet about getting work done, these procedures are more normalized, even considered mainstream. 
like we're bombarded every single day with these filters and adjustments. Um, so you really take a look at yourself in the mirror and if you don't measure up, then sometimes you can start to feel insecure about yourself. The truth of the matter is, is everyone can use Botox. Everyone needs it, right? Like we're working at our muscles each and every day and we're all having wrinkles. Um, but if we get Botox, then it's almost like a Snapchat filter, right? That you're walking around with a Snapchat filter instead of having to filter your photos afterwards. While selfie dysmorphia is not a medically recognized condition, experts say it could be signs of a larger mental health issue. Seeing themselves through a lens that is very much um, tainted by, you know, the filtered lenses that, you know, people are putting up on social media. So I should look like her or, you know, um, my body should look like you know, her body. It can create depressive symptoms. It can create um, low self-esteem, um, confidence issues. And I see tons of that. We see tons of that. Global News reached out to both Instagram and Snapchat, but neither directly commented on selfie dysmorphia. What they did say was that filters were not designed to alter a person's appearance. They are about other forms of fun, meaningful, and artsy expression. Snapchat has never been about being perfect. It was designed as a place where people feel free to be their authentic self. While there are trends out there like hashtag no filter, which push for a more authentic online presence, it's hard to resist the temptation of a seemingly picture perfect, ever evolving selfie. Thanks for watching Global News. Hey, Kitty, I'm trying to work here. Thanks for watching Global News. If you enjoyed what you saw, like the video. You could also hit the subscribe button for all the latest international news and trending video.